Hello everyone, it's Sheila. I'm back again with more Happy Meal. I have a bag here from Karen. Now she told me about this a week ago and I looked on the, the label and it is special delivery. We had to sign for it. You'd think special delivery would be here the next day, wouldn't you? No, it took a week for this one to come. But it's here now, so I have opened it and I know what's in some of it and have an idea what's, what else is in it, but um, I'm going to show you and take it out anyway. First off, <laughs> there was a bag of <laughs> tea bags, decaffeinated, because that's what I use. Um, Karen did ask me um, about the tea bags and these are Tetley tea bags now i used to buy all these tea bags but i started doing a lot of my shopping in sainsbury's so i tried their decaf tea and theirs is much better than um all of these but Tetley is probably much better again because i have had this before so i've got 120 tea bags there off karen <laughs> so i won't be short of a cup of tea And then a packet of round trees fruit pastels. <laughs> no wonder I'm putting weight on all the sweets that people keep sending me. But I do like fruit pastels. So, so and then there's a cardboard box inside. And this I think has knitting patterns in. I've just glanced, I haven't looked at it properly. I just tore the um, the tape off it to make it easier to get into for the video. But there was a card inside here, so I'll read that first. And it's a thank you card from Karen. And she says, I wish you always health and happiness, included our tea bags, decaf, which I only drink as well. That's all I do. I, I only have tea, decaf tea. And says, Dear Sheila, for Sheila <laughs> first I've watched all your channels. I love them. I love your way of teaching. I think I'm addicted. <laughs> says, You are a beautiful knitter and very patient. I hope to be able to just to knit just like you one day, but I guess that takes years of experience. And love from Karen. Well, thank you for that card as well, Karen. And now I'm going to have a look. I thought they were knitting books. I just opened it up and glanced, but I hadn't looked at any of them. That on the floor. The first one is Susan's Small Animal Crochet. It's a crochet book, that one. And... Says on the back, this 40 page collection of crochet applique patterns have seven small animal designs a penguin, an owl, a sleeping cat, a tiny hummingbird, a sparrow, and a winged bird, and their variations, and a darling snail with his tiny butterfly friend. They are all worked in simple crochet stitches using fine crochet cotton and a steel thread crochet hook. And then that tells you about the abbreviations and things and have a look inside. <laughs> they are little sparrows. Now it shows you how, how to make them and and then the hummingbird. And then some small blue birds. They're not blue, but <laughs> they are small. That's why I see is blue birds. They are little ornaments, decorations. And 
and <laughs> Sid the snail. There is a tiny butterfly, tiny butterfly and the sleeping cat. The penguin. Don't know when I ever get time to do any of these sort of things. <laughs> There's Easy Owl. They're like little things you would stitch onto something you've knitted a garment or something like that. I think that's what they're meant for. And a Santa hat for owl, cat or penguin. And that is the crochet book. Put that down there. And this is a bigger one, the Knitter's Bible, Knitted, knitted Accessories. And it says, combine fabulous yarns with vibrant designs to create over 30 accessories for all seasons. Knit slinky scarves, cute mittens, funky hats, plus ponchos, shawls and wraps to keep you feeling snug. We probably do with um, shawls and wraps and things like that in the winter to keep us warm instead of putting our heating on. So I'll just show you one or two in here because it is quite a lot in. There's the hat and score. What you can see, you can't see the whole hat on there. I think that's a type of poncho, that one. That's what you have for little boys with the ear muffs part and the um, <laughs> pom pom on the top. Lots of scarves. And that's <laughs> the Piggy Blinders hat with the peak on the front. And there are some fingerless smiths there. So well, there's plenty to be going on in that book, a lot more than what I've shown you. Take too long to show every single thing in the um, the book. I'll just say, oh, there's some gloves with with all the fingers in. And that's knitted accessories. Oh, and this is another one of those shif shifios patterns. I think that's how you pronounce it. That's a lovely little baby. Matinee and hat with little booties to match. And Oh, and there's a lovely little girl's sweater. I'll have to do some of these ones, little sweaters like that for little girls. It's a lacy. It's a very simple lacy pattern with a bit garter stitch. Or is it moss stitch? No, it's moss stitch, I think, in between. It's a little lacy pattern there with there's a bit moss stitch in between each part of the pattern. 
very nice very quite simple pattern actually it's a patent that one oh it's all on one i think it's opened up it's all on one everything's on the back and the picture on the front another one of the another this pattern just on one sheet it's very handy that instead of having a lot of different ones there's two little the sweater and a little cardigan there's two little cardigans there there's one button up one and a bee neck with a little easy pattern on You know, I've got so many patterns now, I don't think there's enough years in my lifetime to to use a lot of them. That's another nice, nice one with a, like a type of chevron, chevron design on that one. It's another Peter Pan little girl's cardigan. This is Peyton, another Peyton's with a dungarees in a sweater and a little cardigan as well. That's a nice one. It's got a little bit of detail across the top here yeah, on the sleeves, you know, it goes over the top. A little pico edge, I think it's a pico edge across there and across the top of the sleeves it's a nice little sweater i'll have to do that one i think it's another one all on just on one page oh that it's in four ply that one but it's another lovely design lovely lacy type of lacy pattern it is it's a button up cardigan and a v neck cardigan. A 3D granny squares. Oh, there's a lot of granny squares in here. So, as you can see, a lot of different pictures on the front the sheep and watermelon and rainbows and things on the back as well, they show different ones on the back with flowers on and really a lot of kiwi little one with strawberries on And the, the jellyfish. That one's a turtle and a starfish. Well, there's all sorts in there to do all sorts of granny squares. A cat, there's a cat and an owl. So those these ones would be if you were doing like a blanket and you want to do a lot of plain squares but just in a few with um, these little ones with the, like the owl or the cat on. So that's a book of granny squares. Was this apt? I am a granny. I'm a great granny as well. <laughs> I already have this book. 400 knitting stitches. Potter craft. I think it was, could be a couple of years ago. I think it was Sandra. Yes, a lady called Sandra sent this book to me with 400 knitting stitches. 
those I don't need two of these I might send um, one of them to one of my other subscribers I'm sure it's the same book uh, it's in my cabinet over there but I will look and if it is the same book I will send one of them to um, one of my other subscribers who I saw somebody out that likes to do a lot of knitting with a lot of different stitches so that's my happy meal from Karen so thank you very much Karen it did take a week to come I think you are getting a bit worried because um, you were expecting it to come the next day but like you say on this is special delivery you'd expect it to be here the next day but it wasn't so that's a little bit for today and I will be at my bingo tonight so I will catch you all another day so thumbs up and subscribe. Bye for now.